Hi there. Today we are going to talk about how to create a registration form. Given that we have created one ticket type named One Day Pass, kindly remind you that if you are a freemium user who is using the basic plan, you can only create one ticket type. If you would like to create more than one ticket type, do not hesitate to contact ourselves or account managers to upgrade your plan. So, to create a registration form, click the form button under registration in the menu bar. What you can see now is our default form called Form 1. For basic plan users, you can edit the Form 1 and publish the registration form. However, if you want to create more than one registration form, you may need to upgrade your plan so that you can enjoy multi-registration form feature. Now, let's click into Form 1. If you would like to edit the form name, just click the form name in the top left corner and rename it. And the system will auto save all your changes. Click the color button to change the theme color of your registration form. And you can change to our template theme color. Or click the add button to pick the color manually. If you have a color code, simply input it into the box. Now, we can go back to the active page. You'll see four steps of registration form over here. The first one is landing page. The second one is ticketing, followed by form and thank you page in the end. You can customize the content of the landing page. Like if your registration form is published, you can customize the content here. If your registration form is unpublished, you can click the list and change its date. After that, you can edit the content of unpublished landing page. This is the image component. If you would like to edit the image, just click the box over here. And you can drag and drop your file there or simply select your file. If you would like to edit the text, you can click the text area and do the editing. If you would like to insert more pictures or add other information, drag and drop the static text or image corresponding to your needs. Feel free to reorder the components like this. Next, let's move on to the ticketing page. You can see your ticket previously created in the left-hand side. You should drag your ticket into the form. The ticket information and price will be shown now. Bear in mind, the ticket number must be equal to or more than one. After that, let's go to the form page. This is the page where organizers collect information from registrants. Same as the landing page, you can freely insert the components into the form. For example, if you want to insert an image as the banner, go to the basic fields and find static image. And you can drag the component into the form. When you scroll upward, you can find components for personal information and components for business information. I'll now drag some components into my form. If you want to remove any component, click the trash button in the top right corner. If the question is compulsory, turn on the requires button. Organizers can insert the hint and questions placeholder. For customized questions, you can add short text, long text, static text, radio button, multiple choice, drop down, and waiver. For example, I create a radio button question. 
click it and you can edit the question below. You can add options. I'll now add a multiple choice question. Same as the radio button question, you can add the options below your question. I'll quickly show you how to insert a short test question and the hint for it. Kindly remind you that if you need to edit the question or make it required, you will need to click the fields and do the editing. After that, you must tap the space outside in order to save the changes. We also support wafers. and you may insert the waiver content here. You can click the default value and turn on the required button. The registration form is now done. For the thank you page, you can insert the image as the banner too. You can put event information and thank you message here as well. Upon successful registration, participants will see this page. At the same time, you'll see the language choices. If your registration form has different languages, you'll need to manually translate the content for the corresponding language. Now, let's go back to the English version. There is a preview button. You can preview your registration form. Going back to the edit page, there is a publish button. You need to click it, and a QR code is generated. You can also see the forum link right over here. You can download the QR code and send it to your registrants. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.